Well, Operation Christmas Child is a fun and easy program that encourages people of all ages to pack a simple shoebox gift and put a smile on the face of a needy child. Michael Ulrich is the communications advisor for Operation Christmas Child here in Canada. Michael, welcome to Full Circle. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here <laughs> with all the ladies. You're a brave man. You're not a little intimidated <laughs> right now. We're He's a like, brave. You know what? Settling. Other men have done it, and they have walked away with just a slight limp, and they've been yeah. okay. fine. So, okay. stars, yeah. but they're yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you, how long has this the shoebox Christ Christmas giving tradition been going on? How long? We're just now entering our 17th season of Operation wow. Christmas Child as a project of Samaritan's Purse. And I think the amazing part about this program is it started back in 1993 with about 10 or 11,000 boxes that were collected and sent to uh, kids in Bosnia yeah. that were suffering the yeah. effects of war in their yeah. country. And since then, this program has grown dramatically. And this year, around the world, we're really expecting that we can surpass 8 million boxes collected oh. and eight, distributed. 8 million? million. Yeah. That's a lot of shoes, so you guys got to get back. <laughs> Oh, don't tell them oh, that. Don't say <laughs> that. They don't need that encouragement. Well, the good point it, maybe to note here is that even if people don't have a Samaritan's Purse, nice red and green box, they can use their shoe box, right? That's right. I think that a lot of people rely on trying to pick up one of these red and green boxes. And really, we encourage people, maybe you've just uh, the last few months done your back to school shopping with your kids and you've got a few mm -hmm. new pairs of shoes and those boxes are tucked in the closet. Get them out, take the kids to the store. It really is a chance for you to use this opportunity to teach your kids what it means to give. And even at the dollar store, you can get those Tupperware kind of resealable plastic, plastic boxes yeah. so that it, yeah. the box itself is a gift yeah. as well. Yeah, that's a great, a great idea, actually. We really encourage people to utilize uh, a pliable rubber-made mm -hmm. container. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times that in itself for maybe the mom of the family or something, we've gone back into communities a few years later after distribution, and there's that rubber uh, pliable mm -hmm. container yeah, tucked in the corner things. of the kitchen, and that, that's a prized possession yeah, for that mother yeah, as well. For sure. And this extends not just for churches or, you know, Christian organizations. But I've seen this extend into businesses and other areas mm -hmm. of, you know, influence or wherever there's groups of people, restaurants or whatever, right, or businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing how just, uh, it's such a way for people to come together, get behind a project, and really align themselves with something that is just going out to make a difference in the life mm -hmm. of, of a child that's in need. And each mm -hmm. of these boxes, I think one of the, the really important things for people to realize is each and every one of these shoe boxes is packed specifically for the individual child who's going to receive it. People personalize it with the items that they want yeah. that child to receive. And we also really want people to include maybe a note that you've sent from your family to that child mm -hmm. or a picture yeah. of your family. A lot of times the kids will open that box. <laughs> there's that picture of a family or a child the same age. Mm -hmm. And it really just does remind them that there's someone halfway across the world wow. that took the time wow. to pack this box person, and really that they love them. I remember yeah. going through the dollar store checkout and I had my box because I was just finishing <laughs> it off. And the, the woman at the till, her eyes filled with mm -hmm. tears when I told her what was going on. Oh, I'd like to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And so it really is such a tangible, yeah. simple, yeah. fun way mm -hmm. to bless others at Christmas. No, Mike. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I just, it is such a hands on project. And mm -hmm. uh, it's so neat to hear the stories from parents saying, our kid is just so excited to know that he's going to be able to go out and do something mm -hmm. that's going to make a difference in someone that's the same age as him or her. And that's really yeah. what makes it so personal for people. Now, Bridget, hang on to that question yeah. because I know you have a new partnership this mm -hmm. Christmas with the makers of Veggie Tales. That's why we've got Bob and Larry on the table here <laughs> with us as well. And so we're going to have a look at a music video of the latest Veggie Tale Christmas DVD. It's called St. Nicholas a story of joyful giving along with a glimpse into the impact of Operation Christmas Child. The song is Give This Christmas Away and it's performed by Michael West and Amy Grant. Have a look at this. Wow.